Hey guys, Haz here bringing you another video. Today we're bringing you another episode of Gold Platinum and we are bottom pick in Champion Select. So, not going to call a roll, I'm just going to get whatever's given to me um, and just go from there. So I presume I'm playing support, you know, that'll be my guess. Obviously you guys will know. Um, but yeah, I still need to play Hecarim. As uh, I've been, I you know, today you know, I'm going to be recording maybe one or two of these. And yeah, I'm going to try and get Hecarim. Uh, because someone did donate Hecarim. They, literally, they gave me Hecarim because they want me to play him in the series. Um, but yeah, I just haven't been able to get jungle. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, so we've got a guy that is a top of... Like, these people are the ones that I kind of say, you know, think about what you're doing. This Maximus D26... Top and jungle only. It's that word only that is that makes me kind of laugh. Like why? Why are you only top and jungle? Like that that already is a negative attitude. And imagine if now that someone picks his roles, you can guarantee this guy is gonna rage. Like, don't be so. I understand people have their preferred roles, but don't like be like I'm only playing this. Like, just be a bit more flexible. So Nara's been out for now, got around a week or so, maybe a bit less. And Nara is not a banned champion, even in Diamond. Like I'm playing on my Diamond account a bit more. I'm playing on my Plat One account a bit more, trying to get that into Diamond. Um, and bo on both of them accounts, he's not even getting banned. A lot. The reason behind it is because a lot of people don't actually know how to play Nara, and they because they don't know how to play him, they actually do really poor on him. So yeah, that, he's not a banned champion. So Cassidy has been let through. <clears throat> Which is interesting, especially that the enemy banned Akali. Of all champions, they banned Akali. So, that's weird. Okay, they swapped to Sejuani. That could be mid, that could be jungle, because if uh, any of you follow um, any North American uh, uh, solo queue, obviously I'm from Europe, but I do follow the North American solo queue from watching streams, etc. You've got Mr. Oink, that is a challenger diamond, uh, or ch challenger slash diamond one Sejuani main that plays it AP mid. It's fairly interesting. It's funny to watch occasionally when you're watching a stream and he's against somebody. So yeah. Uh, so again, I presume that I am support. The supports I own on this account, I own Bram, Thresh, and do I own a Le yeah? I own the owner. Do I own? I own Annie. Okay. So I own four supports. So that's not that bad. Um, but I might be AD carry. A lot of people wanted me to play AD carry, and I might be doing that. Who knows? It depends what this ocean is. Okay, I'm AD carry. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <coughs> so I'm not the best AD carry in the world. Um, by far, <laughs> basically. Um, but, you know, I have fun with it. It is a role that I actually used to main. So, damn, I forgot to buy Trist. Do I own Jinx? Do I own Jinx? I don't. Balls. I'm going to have to play Lucian, I think. Lucian. I haven't actually played new Lucian yet, too. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh. Alright. Let's get some masteries. Attack speed, that, that. So I am using, I can't remember who I'm using. I'll tell you in a second what mastery page I'm using. Here. I am using um, Emperors. These are the AD carry for uh, uh, CJ Enters plays. Alright, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. is that Kennen support? Everybody dies. Right. Do I want to do Lucian? Some just need a little help. What else? I could do Varus. What <clears throat> could be Sergio on his support? Could do Lucian, Varus, Graves. What else? Marks. Wait, really? I thought you can. Oh, wow. I actually thought you could type in Marksman there. Um. What's our team comp? Yeah, I'd love to have Tristana here, but I don't. But anyway, we're playing AD carry for the first time in the series. I have not played AD carry in a long time, and I haven't even played New Lucian, so this is going to be fun. 
So my room page obviously is not perfect. I'm actually running some CDR blues yeah, per level as cooldown reduction. So yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. But cooldown reduction is actually really good for Lucy, and you want to actually go for the forty percent nowadays. So that's not that bad. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to say there will be an annotation. Oops. <clears throat> So, welcome if you did skip. I forgot to say about it, but there would have been an annotation if you wanted to skip Champion Select. I have no idea what we're against in bot lane. We have maybe a troll, trolling cannon or... Oh, no, it's a, a least support. That makes more sense. So, bring this over. Just make sure that you can see it. So, yes, I'm playing AD carry right now. Arguably my worst role. Uh, but we have a plat 5, plat 3, plat 2, plat 4, plat 4... Plat 5, Plat 3, Geo Q with a Plat 5, Plat 3, Plat 4, and me as Gold 1. <clears throat> so we are at 82 points right now. So if we win this game, that means that I go into promotion series um, for Platinum. And basically, I could get put straight into Platinum. We may miss the promotion series, not really sure. So hopefully I remember at the end of this game that I will not end the recording straight away at the victory or defeat screen. Or Well, I'll only do it at victory screen. Um, I'll try and make sure that I remember to go into the client because then we can kind of see if I get straight away promoted or if we're just in promotion series. Um, so uh, my lane against me is, I think, Caitlyn Elise. And that could be pretty annoying for me, uh, especially that this Elise has literally gone full AP. But that does mean that she's incredibly squishy. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this game. Um... Again, for those who skip Champion Select, you wouldn't really have heard anything. Um, but I have literally not played the new Lucian yet. I've seen him be played quite a bit. Obviously, I've played on <clears throat> the same team as him and against him. So I kind of know what he does. I kind of know what you build on him. But my mechanics may be very rusty. Because again, I have not played AD Carry in a long time too. So hopefully, I'll do okay. Um... Because, yeah, if we win this game, we could potentially get to Platinum straight away. Obviously, the series is coming to an end, which some of you may find sad. But the series will be continuing from Plat to Diamond eventually. I'm just going to have a small little break. Um, just to kind of chill out, to be honest. Because a lot of the content on the channel has been Smurf content. Yeah, now most of the content on the channel has been Smurf content. So... Yeah, I want to get some diamond content back up on the channel. So that Kennen, he had AP. I'm pretty sure he had AP. Yeah, he did. He had 28. But he's gone Doran's Blade. So that's kind of normal. But I have no idea where this Kennen is actually going. I don't know why Katarina just took half damage from turret. That was kind of dumb. But yeah, I don't really know where everybody's going. Again, I presume it's Kennen mid. But Kennen mid is, hasn't really been a thing in about two years. So I don't know. Um... Riven says she won't be able to fight Aurelia. That's not true. That matchup is purely a skill matchup, and they both scale incredibly well. Um, as long as Riven can get the W in before Aurelia can get the E in at the same time, then she'll be fine. But again, you know, this isn't the highest ELO, so maybe they don't know they can do that. Just going to turn the mic up a little bit on the settings. There we go. Ow. I just banged my elbow on my desk. All right, let's go, Janna. <clears throat> Come on. Bum, 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 bum. So it was me. It was risky moving there. So Caden's actually taken W first. That's interesting. Right. Just get rid of them, honestly. Okay, it is a least support. She's gonna do a lot of damage early on. But luckily for me, I actually do have a Janna, so... Look how squishy she is, though. Okay. We focus Janna if there's a fight. We can probably get first blood, but at level 2... But look, she's already half health, and I've barely touched her. The only annoying thing in this lane is that it's a Caitlyn. So if I go in for Elise, it means that um, Caitlyn can just do free damage to me. They're level 2, you need to be careful now, Janna. Okay, that at least didn't take E. I don't think she did. I'm going to take E. 
just for a bit of mobility. Because I am surprised, honestly, that they have not gone in on us, the enemy team, right now. Because they literally have a stronger 2v2. Like, they have a, a 29 AP Elise. What the hell? If Janna could shield me when I'm going to get hit by a Piltover, that would be good. But, oh well. <laughs> Damn. Try and see us as much as I can, but... Damn, man. If she could shield me for extra AD, God damn it! why is she not doing anything? Ugh. There's Sejuani in mid, or in river. Fighting Jarvan. Jarvan is really badly losing that. How the hell does a Jarvan lose that to a Sejuani? Hmm, Aurelia beating a Riven in lane early. That's not a great. I'm gonna mute this Riven because she's actually being really annoying. And I'll mute her too. I can't be bothered. Oh, that's bad. She mm, not dead. <clears throat> I have to base. Oh, no, I can't go back. They just killed me. I'll just say to Jana, Jana, use your shield more. Okay, those. Oh. Like again, she just didn't shield herself there. Like, why aren't you shielding yourself? And why did she cue the wave? Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. They're going to dive. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. This Janna seems a bit derpy. If Jarwin came now, we could get a double kill. But. What am I gonna do? So, this is why I always say I don't. I hate playing bot lane um, in solo queue. Like, I would never recommend it because a lot of it is out of, your, or out of your control. Like, if it's your preferred role, that's completely fine. But, you know, some of it is out of your control. There's no doubt that if you have a, a bad AD carry or a bad support. You're at a disadvantage. Where in top lane, I know I'm 1v1. In mid lane, I'm mid 1v1. Jungle, I can help the people that aren't doing great. But bot lane, you really are subject to your lane partner a lot of the time. Um, which is why I personally wouldn't recommend that to climb. Because, like, yeah, if you're an amazing AD carry, you can get away with it. But obviously, I'm, well, I'm not an amazing AD carry. Um, it's my probably my least played role nowadays. I'm actually just keeping up with CS a lot more than I thought, even though, you know, this lane has been into the enemy's hands a lot already. Yeah. The Jarvan is bot lane now, so, so she's got pickaxe, and then she's got that, okay. I'll throw a ward down there. But yeah, Riven, re there is a reason why Riven isn't really played in the current meta, and that is because she's actually really weak usually against like the meta picks like Aurelia is good against her if you know you're good at Aurelia um it's a skill matchup and if if you make a mistake on Riven you literally can just throw the game yourself because she's very strong that at least I think is AFK but she's very strong when she gets ramped up uh Riven but if you have poor mechanics on her you know Riven arguably shouldn't win uh shouldn't die 1v1 against anything in the early game. Um, maybe only like Renekton because you know she her early game is actually really good. Mm. We're just getting absolutely steamrolled. Again, I'm not a massive fan of Janna because she doesn't really offer any lane pressure. If it's with like a Tristana, it's better because you just delay the Trist to get strong. But with I'd say after everything everything other than Trist, you know, she's not great. She just doesn't add enough pressure into the lane. 
Uh, would be nice again if Jarvan did gank once, but he's not. He's maybe just simply farming. He's nearly out farming the ribbon up top lane, but oh well. These games happen. Don't know where Elise is. There she is. Okay, she's just waiting in a bush. Thought she may be AFK again. Do, 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 do. We need to clear this wave. I don't think they can dive us in the top lane. Dead again. Janna's not paying attention. She could have avoided that damage. <clears throat> Mid lane. Yeah, I'd say this game's going to be a loss. But I'm going to try and just play my best. Um, you know, we can always try and... AFK because lose lane. What? Okay, they're going to just dive me. That was really bad from Elise. Alright, got to go back. But yeah, this game's just been a bit of a mess. Like, Karina arguably has done really well. Like, her CS is really good. She's actually got, you know, quite a few kills, etc. Um, but yeah, just... I can't do much in bot lane. Uh, unfortunately. Like, I'd love to get fed, but I'm being a bit limited right now. And top lane is... Eh, fed Aurelia is just going to wreck me late game. And yeah... Like, saying all this stuff here, like, this does nothing. Like, I don't understand why these guys are just simply typing. Like, if it has no benefit to the game, if it's not useful information, then you may as well not say anything. I'm just going to freeze it, actually. The wave's coming in now. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, that is irony. That is the person that went only, like the only person, and then they're the one that ends up feeding. Oh well. And then you can like tell the type of person, like I muted them straight away because they're like, as soon as first blood went down, they're like, oh, OP champion. It's like, mm. yeah, I probably wouldn't blame that on why you died. Like again, Riven can do well. Against double killer Relia 2v1. Yeah, this game is pretty much over. I'm just going to mute everyone because I can't be bothered with just wow. It's like pointless. Uh, just farm up as much as I can. If I can make something happen, I'll try. But yeah, mid lane, they're pushing. There's nothing we can do. They just got too much map pressure. I think maybe Janna was on the phone half the game, potentially. Um... Because the shields and that that she was doing, not great, but I don't know. Can't complain too much when it's only like gold, one platinum mod. But you do kind of, like a lot of people are watching right now, if you're like bronze or silver, etc., you probably expect platinum to be pretty good. It's really not. Like, solo queue honestly doesn't get that much better. Uh, probably until about diamond two. That's when I'd say the kick is of actually when people start to get good. Use the heal. So heal for heal. Try to use it to catch up, but yeah. That Aurelia is fed. I would not fight her at all. <coughs> but yeah, that Caitlyn is still quite a bit ahead of me. Like it's not just like she got uh, two kills. Where did she get the second one from? Oh, she must have got a kill from like mid lane, maybe the Katarina, I guess. Um, but it's not just that she's got a, like the two kills and not that she's a little bit ahead of me as CS. It's the fact that she's actually got global pressure as well. That she's had that tower, that that, uh, that tower gold, this tower gold, mid tower gold. Like she's just gained a lot even there. I'm good. I'm going to buy that. 
And then I'm going to build into a Brutalizer. So my build right now is completely up the ding. It's basically because I'm just trying to get as damage as much as I can, just anywhere. Um, so I'm just like trying to scavenge items together, which... Yeah, it's not the best idea, but again, I'm just trying my best. I can't even fight her. Like, that first blood, or that where Jarvan nearly died to Sejuani, I don't know how that happens. Because a Jarvan is one of the strongest um, duelists in the early game. So my damage is actually really high right now. Oh, I went straight onto a trap. Oh, I flashed onto a trap. I think I was still dead. Janna doesn't have ult, apparently. Okay. <sighs> Guys, could use some help here. Oh well, just one of those games. Some games you just have to call it a loss and then don't get angry about it. You can get frustrated, like... There is a difference between frustration and anger. Like, I understand frustration. Like, right now, I'm frustrated, but... What's he doing? That was a really bad idea. Ooh, go cat. Go cat, go cat. Why is Riven here? Did she literally just run... Well, I think she ran the whole way. Oh, wait. Do you max E now on Lucian second? Oh, I don't know. Get off. Hmm. Oh yeah, you do. Okay. But yeah, my performance this game could obviously been a lot better, um, but not terrible. So I don't know. Did what I can, I guess. Go for a bit of tower damage. I doubt we'll get the tower. Maybe we will. I don't know. No, we won't. She's got her IE. Janna. Lisa's. Oh, we can actually kill her. Go. Yeah. No, they die in mid. Why do they have to die? When we get a kill, we do make something happen good. I can't get it yet. Uh oh. I'd use heal to get out of there. Would it be nice if we could get the tower? But, oh well. So, to kill wise, actually, we're not that far behind. It's just a Relia. Is miles, miles, miles ahead, and I'm not gonna do enough damage until a while until I can kill her. Don't buy that. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Whoa, Nelly! Right, we can win that game if she keeps doing that. It's just, again, it's a relia we have to worry about. Oh, I'm coming. You went too early. We can't, I kind of want a relia to come right now because she wouldn't be able to, I don't think we'll be able to kill us. Um... There you go, that died. I don't know where really it is. Okay, she's there. We can kill her. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that really should have known. Like, what the hell? Alright, well, we're starting to actually pull back. Like, again, Relly is the only one that is miles ahead. And even with that, her CS score is actually a lot lower than I thought it would be. She's had a free lane. 
in the end of the day. So she, in theory, should be miles ahead. I'm going to get the Cutlass. Like my, again, my build is all over the place. But I'm going to get the Cutlass just in case Aurelia does join a team fight. It gives me that extra slow. It just keeps her away. That eventually will build into a Bork. But not anytime soon. I'll be building that into a Bork a bit later on. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to start building into an IE now. Uh, later on, the Brutalize will probably go into a, a Yumus, but not at the moment. Sejuani's top, like, we should really fight them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Go! Why is nobody going? Like, what the hell, guys? Sejuani is top. Ugh, the frustration. Like, why don't you just go in? Like, I can't go in on this champion. That's the one frustrating thing I have when I play, like, AD carry. And like, now she's here. Like, we could have fought then, and we could have done really well, but now we're getting poked. Riven's taking free damage, and that's our opportunity gone. And again, she was probably typing, because typing's important. Ugh. The only one that can wave clear too. <sighs> this is gonna be a hard game, but we can win. We just need Katarina to like not get stunned straight away in ultimate, and then we have a chance. One good team fight can land us straight. Away. Like, what's Java doing in the back line? He's our tank, and why is he so far back? You know. If you're a tank, if you guys are playing the tank at home, you be in the front. Like, you are the tank. They're split. Like, 100% we need to go for one of them. Damn. Alright, they're going to fight. We should try and look for them then in our red jungle at least. Alright. I go in. That was Elise, that was Elise, she's around the area. That why did she take it? What the hell? She's really weak. Oh, this ribbon's annoying. Zero five takes the red. I was gonna give that to Jarvan. Oh wait, I should have taken it. He's zero three. Oh. Keep farming. I think I can kill... Might be able to kill Kayla one on one. I think I'll be able to. Unless she gets like a mega crit. They may go Baron. Like they want to fight us right now. They're stronger. We're just delaying the game. And in that kind of respect... Uh, we're getting back into it. But yeah, pure AP Sejuani. Just kill her. We can just blow her up. Like... Earlier top. Why are you pacing? God damn it. Uh, these we, We've had so many opportunities to get back into this game through T. That's stupid. What are you doing? We've had so many opportunities to get back into this game from fighting when, like, Sejuani was top, now Aurelia was top, and then people are just basing. It's like, that is such a bad time to base. Now they're hovering back. Oh, no, are you not looking above you? And the Riven's dead, 100%. Goodbye. No, why, did, why was she there? She's just not thinking this game at all. A lot of people, as I've said in different videos, a lot of people have that problem that they just literally don't think about what they're doing in League of Legends. So they rush too much or they just die easily. Uh, we can kill these. Like, No, 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 no. Why? Why? We could have killed them if you didn't give it away. 
Mm -mm. This game is really frustrating me. And it doesn't... I don't get frustrated easily. Oh my god, get him. They're on dragon right now. Like, Katarina, we've seen her burst. She can literally just jump on a target. It's gone. She can literally just jump on a target and burst them instantly. Oh, that at least damage. Ooh. We get mid tower. That's something. What does Elise? So Sedjuani's full AP. Elise is full AP. Sedjuani's bot. <sighs> Why is Riven taking the farm? Mm. Yeah, they're there, they're there, they're there. Riven needs to come right, right now. Okay. What does she have? That'd be good if she, like, kind of... She got stunned. Kennen's top. We can if we can get a catch, like she didn't actually use ult. That's a good thing. But the Kennen actually hasn't done anything this game either. Ooh, that's my stomach. I'm hungry. He's above us. No 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 no. Jarvan's basing. Uh, I'm going to take blue for CDR, I guess. It's not really better than anybody else. Oh, I leveled the wrong thing. Damn it. <coughs> I'll go get red. I probably do the most damage apart from Katarina, obviously, on the team. No, she's really fed. Hopefully, Riven doesn't take this. Like, if she does, it's just like, why? Okay, good. Alright, we should try and fight. Mm, not now. Could use Riven. Zonya Sejuani, what the hell? So yeah, I presume this person takes inspiration from Mr. Oink. It's even Mr. Oink or Master Oink, I can't remember. Ruin is basing. <sighs> Katarina is over here. Oh Jesus, I thought he was going to jump in. So Kratarina is actually taking quite a bit of poke. Nice damage. We can fight, definitely. 100%. Oh, what are you doing? There goes their damage, there goes their damage. Right, go, 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 go. So fighting. Damn it. 
really wanted to save Cat. We're pulling this back though. Katarina is doing work. No base. Base. No point being down there when Baron's still up. Like they could just rush Baron and they could get it for free. Just checking about pinks. <sighs> Aurelia is looking for someone to kill. We need to go Baron. So yeah, we are pulling this back, which is cool. Um, if we just, like that Aurelia, she got impatient, she dived in by herself, boom, we killed her. If that happens, every team fight. Yo, 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 kill, 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 kill. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We can fight, we can fight, we can fight. Alright, we've got to be careful that they don't do Baron. But yeah, protect Katarina, protect me, kill Aurelia, and we can win. But Aurelia is the big threat, and Caitlyn is actually a threat too, but just not as much. Kate is top, so if we can get a pick on somebody, we can kill them. Dragon's up. Free dragon. <coughs> we'll take that. <coughs> Janet needs to be careful, like, why is she alone? Oh, boy. This is, like, why did you rush? I just threw it. Why rush? Uh, Jarvan, I don't understand why he rushed in. He missed his EQ, and then he should have backed out. Uh, just impatience. That's what a lot of low elo people are missing is patience. Like, you'll find low elo people don't uh, freeze the lane. They don't, you know, that's a big thing. A lot of people, low elo people just simply don't freeze the lane. And that's just a patience factor, you know. Freezing the lane benefits you because you get farm and you're denying your enemy. But a lot of low elo people are like, no, I want to fight now. I can't freeze it. I want to fight. So, yeah, just lacking that impatience. So that Caitlyn build, I'd say, is not very good. Uh, she's got a double attack speed item, which you don't really need. But yeah, oh, that just we were winning this game, like we were starting to win it, and then that's just throwing us back a little bit. Oh well, damn. Doubt they're doing it. No, they're not gonna do it, but we can fight. We can fight. Oh, that hit me. No. I'm dead. Stun her, maybe, Riven. No. She's probably typing again. Because she just stood there. But oh well. Um. A bot lane now. Need help at the turret. Go, go, go. Yeah, we're starting to lose it a bit now. Since that, damn, that dragon. Holy hell, that said you any damage. People wonder why people like Mr. Oink does well. The burst is absolutely insane. Yeah, they've now cracked the base. God damn it. Oh, this could have been a win. Damn. <laughs> GG. Oh, well, we lose it. What can you do? So that was... Uh, I did. I tried my best. I made a couple mistakes, obviously, like everybody makes mistakes. But, yeah, there was just a bit too much going on. You know, top lane rarely got extremely fed. That put a lot of pressure on everybody. Katarina, I have to say, played well. I'm going to honour her because she played very well. Bot lane was a bit iffy. You know, Janna wasn't really paying attention in the early game. I maybe could have done a few things better. But, yeah, anyway, this is a defeat. Defeats come with losses. Learn from them. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to go straight into the next game and try to win that. So yeah, hopefully we'll win the next game. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye.